Hi, I'm Steve. And I'm Sandy. And we're two Tenderfoot tourists. Welcome to episode 119, Beating Isolation Boredom. Join us today as we talk about a few ways to fight cabin fever. You can all see this is going to be a train wreck and a half. Hey, I'm not the one doing it. I can blame it oh all on you. <laughs> blame it all on me. I am not tech savvy. Oh, goodness. So anyway, um, yeah, this is our first ever doing a live podcast. What do you think of them, Apples? <laughs> We're terrible. <laughs> we are terrible, aren't we? So, uh, but, you know, the current situation as it be with people being locked in their houses on the majority businesses closing or just doing drive through alone, which we don't know how much longer that's going to last. Right, exactly. It could get tighter than that. And mm-hmm. in some areas that it is, I know that our, that Missouri has been pretty lucky so far on mm-hmm. how tight the restrictions have been. Mm-hmm. But, <laughs> but, um, so with that being said, uh, just an update from what we did last time, we, we actually talked about, uh, how, you can survive like going on trips, getting outside and stuff like that. And I think it's what's been said the entire time was wash your hands. Don't touch your face. Right. Things like that. Keep a social distancing. Be smart. If you're people that are at risk, like for myself, I have asthma. I have a good friend with diabetes. Um, Then we, of course, have lots of elderly people that we know. Mm -hmm. Um, You just have to be smart and protect yourself. Mm -hmm. And then the younger people, be smart and protect the people that are older or are compromised. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, So, but with that being said... You can still have fun. You can still have fun. And that's kind of what we're going to be talking about in this episode of Two Tenderfoot Tourists, which is episode... 119. Beating Isolation Boredom. Yes. So, make a long story short, uh, I mean, you see, we, we listed off a whole bunch of different things that we've found uh, um, online and, uh, and what other people have shared with us as well. So, um, you want to start us off or do you want me to start? Ah, you could start. I'm good with that. Are you sure? Sure. Okay. <laughs> um, let me see. Tour a museum. This is one you shared on Tenderfoot Tourist uh, Facebook page. Uh there's like, uh, there's virtual tours or there's, or there's live feed cams Mm -hmm. also, which you can actually quite literally walk down through the halls and, and, uh, into rooms and stuff of different museums all over the world. Uh, one of the ones that uh, really caught my interest right off the bat is, uh, Van Gogh oil paintings over in the Van Gogh museum in Amsterdam. You can actually, you can go there and you can actually look at, uh, the His famous Starry Night. Starry Night painting. Um, it's just iconic. If you see it, you're going like, oh, Van Gogh did that? If you're not a person is. Yeah, this. when I was younger, a guy I was dating painted me one. Oh, really? Ma- painted me one similar to it, yeah. And then after you met me, you uh, burnt it, right? I honestly don't know where it's at. <laughs> My mother may have it because I may have left it on the wall at her house. But oh. it was pretty good. It was cool. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Van Gogh is not an easy medium, or not medium, but style to to replicate. So. Well, and of course, it didn't look just like it, but... Of course. You know. Of course. Uh, let me see. Now, how about the uh, J. Paul Getty Museum in Los Angeles? That's one that's on there you can go look at. And uh, basically, make a long story short, they have all kinds of different art and sculptures and everything like that. One that stood out to me the most was the... Uh, illuminated manuscripts, which I always absolutely loved. You know, no, I don't even know what those are. Um, what what the illuminated? If you just look them up. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you have these like books <laughs> that um, that have like very nice. Uh, um, I can't 
tell you what kind of style it is, but it's just these images. You know how that you have a page and you have this writing on it and at the header of it where it starts It's all off, fancy and pretty? Yeah, it's all franc- fancy and pretty. Oh, I like it that way. You like them fancy? <laughs> I like them fancy. But, uh, but yeah, they have sculptures, everything from Greek, Roman, uh, Neolithic, uh That makes European me think art. of how you um, have some old, really the fancy Bibles would have mm-hmm. that in it and mm-hmm. some of your really old nicer um children's storybooks oh yeah they would have that type of thing so i love that yeah that's gorgeous i would love seeing that then of course if you say smithsonian uh, that's also on there you don't need much explanation explanation on that right they have their smith the smithsonian's national portrait gallery Mm -hmm. so you know there is one place that you can go and you can find all these things that we just discussed and a whole lot more that we didn't discuss go search it for yourself where do you go sandy to all (laughs) <laughs> see this is how i get tongue-tied a lot more than you people think he's really good at editing <laughs> um <laughs> arts and culture dot google dot com there you go that's arts and culture dot google dot com there you go <laughs> um so uh we got two views got two people Woo! watching us right now i'll Hi, take you guys. it um <laughs> But anyway, um, I can't see. If anybody's talking to us, I can't see. I don't know how you... Oh, it's because you did it sideways. Oh, no. Okay. If comments appear, they will appear here. Okay. Okay. Um, we're still learning. We're still learning. <laughs> um, I know that... Okay. So I, just, to, just to backtrack, of what we were discussing, you know, this is the first time we ever went live. I did post on our Facebook page that whenever we do decide to do a live view... Uh, or live feed that is of our two tenderfoot tourists. I would let everybody know and tell them when it's going to be. Well, he didn't. Th- I didn't. The reason why I didn't is because one, I've never done it before. It took a little bit of research because it turns out if you want to do it on someone mentioned like uh, YouTube, I can't do it on YouTube. They've restricted you from doing it unless you have a thousand people who subscribe to you. They're not going to let you do it. Hmm. It's it's for anyone that's a thousand viewers or higher. Maybe just keep, which is lame. Maybe are they trying to keep their site from crashing? I, I guess I don't know. I I think that that would actually tell you that they're doing more people is would you know what I'm saying? Less people would be a less chance of it actually crashing. So I don't know. I don't nah, because there'd be a lot more different ones with with very few people on them you think so i don't know what do you got in your lap i got my mork all you can see is his rumpus probably but it's because you keep scratching it. i am i'm scratch well no i'm scratching his neck and he oh. gets all crazy oh okay he's okay. a lovey guy he's shy he just wants to see his tail <laughs> <laughs> hey come up here bud <laughs> not the butt <laughs> <laughs> stop tapping his rear it doesn't matter. There he is. Hi. <laughs> he's oh my the greatest. Goodness. He's so weird. <laughs> he is. He's he's a fat thing. Okay, so, um, but yeah, the reason why I decided to do, do it this way is because, you know what, I need the chance to actually play with it and learn how it works because I've never done this before. Facebook is the best option. One, we have 169 subscribers to our Facebook followers on our Facebook page. Uh, we only have like 25 on our YouTube. Hmm. We need to bring that up just a little bit. If everybody wouldn't yeah, mind, yeah. just kind of uh, share, 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 share. Can you hear him? Oh, yeah. I can hear him. <laughs> um, okay, so online courses. Now, this is a good time. If you're going to be in your house and you can't go nowhere, this is a good time to actually get like some sort of education, learn about something that you have never done before. There's a lot of really neat stuff out there. And I mean, um, we have listed on here that it, you can find stuff for language, economics, world history, science. Mm-hmm. I mean, there are innumerable, innumerable, innumerable. options. And, <laughs> and then the thing is, is also a lot of people like to go to something called uh, Great, uh, Great Courses Plus. And uh, they actually, what they do is, I mean, you can just study anything you want. Now, they are offering the first three months for free. But after that, it's like nineteen ninety nine per month or I think it's $10 for every quarter. Uh, so, I mean, basically, you're saving yourself $10 a month after you do the quarterly. Anyway, right. so make a long story short. Um, try it for three months while you're on quarantine, you know. I mean, you're not going to be in quarantine, I hope, for not three months. But... 
But I mean, it's something you could learn something about, new, right. learn a new language. Well, and I mean, depending on the age of your children, it might be something they really enjoy. And oh, even if you're not on quarantine, it could lead you right into the summer, at least. It really could. And I mean, it, it might be a really cool thing to have around. Then there's also something to remember. I just brought up children. Um, there are several online resources for all ages of children, from printable worksheets and puzzles to YouTube videos of science experiments and activities. Mm -hmm. So don't forget, you you aren't just sitting there with kids that are going stir crazy. Yeah, I mean, I I've been known to print off math sheets. I remember when these our kids things. were younger when they were struggling, mm -hmm. and just have them do them, and I would give them, you know prizes for completing the worksheet and doing their very best you yep. know and it's it's an option i mean it keeps them fresh i know when kids struggle when they have a big break then they go back and it's just a train wreck for them true so maybe it'll help them keep focused on stuff they're struggling with yep i agree so you also speaking of uh, uh things you also found something else that's fascinating right nasa NASA has freed up. I, I can't even remember the details on it. I sent it to you so you'd have the link to post on our um, Facebook page and everything. But um, long story short, you can view all kinds of stuff for NASA. They have all kinds of um, – at their main page, they have all kinds of little links to do different things, including looking around NASA itself mm -hmm. and seeing how things are done. Right. So, I mean, it is so cool. I mean, of course, you're going to be able to see the stuff from the satellite views sure. and stuff like that, which usually it costs money to do that. Mm -hmm. And but right now, it's, now it's for free. So take advantage, guys. And I believe, isn't that the one that I said was also the one they were doing copyright free? Yeah, yeah. At, the, at this time? So yeah, you, currently you can, it's public domain. You have yes. all these photos, like so, the Hubble uh, telescope photos and oh, yeah. stuff like that. So it's a really cool opportunity. Right. Well, it, according to the, the website, they have made their entire collection of images, sounds, and video available at public searchable online. It has 140,000 photos and other resources available for you to see or even download and use it any way you see? like. See, 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 see. That's my favorite one so far, I think. It's pretty cool. Because we've been to um, Kennedy Space Station mm -hmm. and... I won't lie, we were dead tired when we went there, so we didn't enjoy it like we could have, but we still thought it was incredible. Oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, it was a lot of information to so take So to be in. able to get inside yeah. a lot of this stuff would be really neat. Well, and you know what? I mean, if we had plenty of time, you know, we could go there for a couple of days and stuff like that. I mean, it, it would have been it would have been great. Um, so now maybe um, – maybe – education in this area is not your cup of tea. Maybe you want something for the kids. Maybe they want to go to zoo, but they can't go to a zoo. Uh, they actually have live cameras on zoos. Gosh, are you watching this, people? <laughs> you see my kitty? Yeah. He's spoiled. He loves me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's a good boy. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, Monterey Bay Aquarium in California. Um, you can actually watch the penguins play live. Uh, you can watch jellyfish float around. You can watch sea turtles and, uh, and sharks. sharks. Yeah, there's been more than one aquarium saying they were going to keep a live feed on their shark tanks just because people love watching the sharks, mm -hmm. and they are pretty incredible. What's really also cool about this is generally the, it's like a $50 in order to get entrance into this this aquarium. And and now what you were finding out is like you just like depending on the time of day you can actually go and you can watch these animals live live for free. I'm assuming they'll probably um, have the feedings live, which is re what's yes. really interesting on some of them, like the sharks. Right. And um, oh goodness, excuse me. Um, the, uh, the other thing is, is now they play re whenever the, the, the place closes down and, uh, which by the way, they're not open at this point to the public, right. but normal hours, you have a live feed, but after that they play reruns of what the, the day had. Absolutely. So that's that definitely day. a channel that you could get on, um, with your younger children and just let them click on videos on there. Yeah. It's going to be a safe environment for them. True. Uh, and then, then the other zoo is San Diego Zoo, which is a very popular zoo. Uh, they also have uh, – they actually – it's really easy to find everything you need to find on that. I went on to their webpage, and I looked around, 
and they quite literally they they have like little blocks there it's like you want to watch this one you want to watch that yeah they're all live cams right yeah they're all live cams uh, they got the polar bear cam the ape cam panda cam giraffe cam tiger uh, elephant all of those there's things. more than that <laughs> yeah and it just keeps going on and on and on you can actually find all of those at the san diego zoo they have live nature cams Mm-hmm. um mm. Educational, the... inspirational. Yeah, Explore there it is. features high quality videos, live cams, photographs. That sounds creepy. Great like causes around the globe. <laughs> so you, you can't talk all around pedophile-ish. the globe. You have to talk Pedoph- more. <laughs> Instead, you have to talk like you're, you're an announcer from around the globe. In a world. There it is. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> Make me feel, think of Will Arnett. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> In a world. In a world. Sorry, but not sorry. Um, okay, then one last one, which I think is kind of neat. It's not a last one. No, it's not the last. There's a whole bunch of them. We're just naming a few, by the way. Uh, they actually have uh, something called uh, explore.org, live cams. And th- you can actually have an app that you can view these live videos that are from all over the world. Uh, mm-hmm. And... What basically this thing is, is it supports a lot of your, um, oh, what's the word I'm looking, I want to say campaigns, but that's not it. But uh, a lot of these. Um, oh, oh, shoot. We're getting old. I can't think of words either. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. This, we're so old. <laughs> okay. Charities. Charities. Thank you. I knew I'd find it. <laughs> where where they follow they follow like for instance they have live cameras you can watch the tigers in Africa you can watch the apes in the jungle you can oh, watch the so elephants cool. and they're all on live giraffes and everything but not only do that do they have that but they also have some around certain facilities all over the world I That's mean you really can watch cool. these animals live which I think is really cool explore dot org they also have an app you can download uh, rest assured we're gonna put a lot of these things in the description so that whenever you follow us you can find our episode of 119 yeah we're all over the place but we'll give you the (laughs) the places to go so you can check it out for yourself and we'll also have them on our facebook page yeah um so now we've on the internet what if we don't have internet what do we do well, there's lots of little options there, too, if you really think about it. Um, one of the things you said, actually, was try a new recipe. If you've got a well-stocked cabinet mm-hmm. and fridge, then try some new recipes out. Um, baking is good. It takes a little time if you do it from scratch, you mm-hmm. know, things like that. A little this bit would have been a great time for me to make homemade chicken and dumplings. Dang it. Oh, <laughs> what? Dang it. <laughs> but um, also board games. Oh, we, yeah. We used to play those a lot. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean when I was a little kid. I mean with our kids. Yeah. And it, as teenagers and everything, that was a big deal to have game night. And we still do those once in a while with friends. But we like stuff like Settlers of Catan. <laughs> settlers of Catan. Um, no, Settlers of Catan. Mm-hmm. Um, Monopoly, obviously, is a good go-to. And Trivial Pursuit, Clue. What is the one that was a battle game you guys like so much? Uh, oh, um, oh, you played it Stratego, with- and there's another one. Um, but they take forever. Yeah, they take forever. That's they can why take the, days. That's why they're a great game, because you could set it up, you could play for a while, you could take a break. Does <laughs> anybody remember what we're talking about? It's it's yes. like Stratego, but it's some... Oh, uh... <sighs> I don't know the game. It's you and Sean and Kyle, Kyle played it. Um, and Andrew, I think, played it with you guys yeah. at one point, too. By the way, Olivia just wrote on our, our live stream saying, uh, Mama... You're so cute. Oh, thank you. It's because I'm holding a cat. That helps. <laughs> but um, also, um, one of the things uh, is uh, it does require money to start, but uh, Hunt a Killer is a new thing that's out right now. I know you don't have it on your list. No, but you not. were talking about that. Isn't that where you solve the... Yeah, crime. You, yeah, you solve a murder. Oh, that um, would be so cool. You, they have like a special going on right now where you get all like I think it's like uh, six episodes or something like that, all in one. And you, you know, you take hours and hours. It's like if you're one of these people who are like an armchair detective, this is something that would be really good for you because of the fact that 
they quite literally give you all these little clues and uh, all these different aspects about um, – hold on. Mindy's going to get in trouble right over there. Okay. <laughs> See, this is one of those things that um, I would really, really like because I have this strange obsession with crime shows. Mm -hmm. um, I like the real ones mm -hmm. that tell about real crime, but I also like CSI. I, I love all CSI. I love NCIS. I mean, mm -hmm. I have problems probably, but I really like that stuff. I know, me so too. So for us to be able to sit down and play a game to solve a crime would Where be a lot you of fun. quite literally, you sit down and you are trying, well, that's not a real murder. but No, I mean, but you have to figure out the clues and right. stuff. That would be so cool. Um, in this one, they're offering something called Class of uh, 98. Uh, it's a complete box set. And you are um, a small town class reunion turns deadly. A private investigator reaches out to to you to find uh, to help find the killer what secrets are there seemingly innocent citizens at chestnut falls hiding Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> so um that i that's something i've been wanting to do for a while yeah I, we should definitely think about doing that, do that um maybe when this clears up a little bit actually we should do that with on a weekend hey daniel with daniel's like, watching hi daniel Wall. hi hi um, Kyle and Alyssa and everybody, maybe we could get them together. We'd all work together to solve a crime. Mm, okay. Sounds good. Cool. Well, um, speaking of me and my crime show thing, mm -hmm. <laughs> um, something else you can do to pass the time is to binge watch stuff. <laughs> um, there's all kinds of options that when you've got Disney Plus out there and Netflix and Hulu. Mm -hmm. And a lot of those give you a 30-day free trial. Hi, Daniel. Or a week free trial. Mm -hmm. And you can just try it out and see what you think. But um, we... We watch a lot of different stuff. The classic movies on Disney are great. Or mm -hmm. Like they've got all the Star Wars movies. Skip what you want, folks. Yeah. Um, I'm <laughs> just saying. We all know which one. I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we um, we like TV series like Monk, oh, Chuck. Oh, I love Monk. The Office. The Middle. Okay, let's talk about The Middle just for a second. You want to feel normal? I mean... <laughs> Oh my gosh, if you haven't watched The Middle, folks, that show, you just sit here and you go, oh wow, they actually do that. <laughs> but um, it's a lot of fun. It really is. It really is. It's just a hard working dad with a middle class family constantly struggling to stay afloat <laughs> and their kids. And uh, their kids are quirky. Oh and my goodness. It's uh, just. It's crazy. Daniel fun. Wall just said a true binge watch doesn't take seven days. Yeah, but if you do all of these shows, it'll yes. take you a couple of weeks. <laughs> Not for Daniel, evidently. Apparently, he never sleeps or eats. I should say he's young. He probably just drinks Red Bull and keeps watching. Is that true, Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> but no, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, like I said, Monk, Chuck. I love Chuck. Oh, um, so Parks and Rec, Goldberg's Lost, 24. There are so many oh, things. Oh, Phineas and Ferb. Phineas and Ferb is so funny. That's good for adults. And, and SpongeBob. SpongeBob's always good for adults. I can take it <laughs> only so long with SpongeBob. Oh, my goodness. SpongeBob will wear I'm, me slick. I, I, think, I think I like him in like a three-episode intervals, really. Seriously. Oh, and you know what? Um, uh, who was it? Uh, oh. Clone Wars has started a seventh season oh, that's true. on Disney Plus, and I. And what's the name of the other one too that has uh, that's connected to that? that oh, you have uh, Star Wars Rebels. I yes, love Star, Star Wars, Wars Rebels, Rebels is another one. And actually, um, if you haven't yet watched Ooh, the Mandalorian, Mandalorian, it's worth your time if oh. you love Star Wars. Um, if you love the original Star Wars, Mandalorian's right up your alley. It is. It's right, right up your up alley. Your alley. It's very well done. But anyway. Anyway. We're dorks. Oh, okay. So. Daniel says, a Red Bull would mess with me. The trick is to play it in the background or your daily, uh, of your day, of your daily chores. And he put a smiley, laughy. Ah. Genius. Yes. Are you really truly enjoying it if you just have it playing in the background? Depends on what you're watching. That's true. If it's something you've already seen before, yeah, sure. You can keep up with it, right. I suppose. <laughs> But anyway, um, I also like watching all those um, singing competition shows. Oh gosh, yeah, I'm addicted to those. Uh, AGT, I it can be cring cringeworthy at times, but yeah, I'm telling you right now, I, the I, variety is a lot of fun. I really enjoy the variety. It's not just people who can sing well, but people who have uh, genuine talent and people who think they have a talent. 
Yeah. And it's tragedy. <laughs> well, they um, have that a little bit on American Idol sometimes, too. That's true. And then the voice is a lot of fun also. But like I said, I have my problems with certain little obsessions. <laughs> I got it. Okay, so you also mentioned another one, something about uh, if you like musicals or Broadway plays. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. There, um, There is a link also that you can go to that you can watch live is it live broadway musicals it's uh broadway hd yeah it's broadway hd and you can watch actual broadway musicals for free for right now Mm -hmm. it's temporarily for free so take advantage while you can if you love musicals i was gonna say i mean actually it's cheaper than netflix at this point because it's only 8.99 oh wow see if you love musicals that's the way to go um but yeah that you they live not live stream but they you can watch all kinds of musicals on this, which, you know, you and I both love a good musical. Although it's kind of like a, a secondhand fun if you're just watching it from your TV and you're not at the theater. Yeah. But after going to see Les Mis live recently, I'm just oh. like, now I'm I'm hooked. I want to see a lot of live ones. So. Yeah. But you can actually stream it to your, your phone, your tablet, your TV. Um, and you can start a seven-day free trial by clicking a plan below if you go to their website. Okay, so... Um. Anyway, yeah, if you like Broadway musicals, that's an option. There you go. <laughs> there you go. So um, make a long story short, what we have next is, uh, you know what? They said that, you know, staying at home is not what you always have to do. You you can actually get outside. They encourage you to be out in the air and the sun. Right, exactly. Um. So you mentioned a couple of ideas, which, you know what, for the life of me, I... I one of them is just your it. own yard. Get out in your yard, do cleanup, do gardening, right. especially if you have kids. Oh, Holy mackerel, Steve. How do you like them apples? I'm blind. <laughs> <laughs> especially if you have kids, though. Get them out there and let them dig in the dirt a little bit. Um, there's been a lot of rain, so weather permitting, but it should it at least... The, 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 the. It should soften up the soil. I got that on soil. film now. I, I appreciate that. You're welcome. Um, but it should soften up the soil a little bit and everything to have it have, be so wet. Right. So hopefully it'll dry up enough that you can get out and work in your yard. Um, also, the another option is go walking. Mm-hmm. Walk, 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 walk. Walk, 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 um, walk, walk. If you happen to see a neighbor, just don't walk up to them. Wave shake their at them. hands. Keep, yeah, <laughs> shake their hands, kiss their cheek. Yeah. No, we don't do that. Um, but, you know, give them a wave. Tell them you hope they're doing well and keep on moving, you know. Right. Um, go out to a nature trail. Right. I mean, nobody said stay locked up in your house with the doors taped and everything else. Mm-hmm. They've actually encouraged the sun and the air. Yeah. You know what? Um, we didn't mention this on, on our on our. Uh, our list of uh, things to do, but you know what? It just now occurred to me. See if you can't get involved with the community to help the elderly. Uh, make sure that they have all the supplies that they need. There are people out there that are trying to start one or have already started it. See if you can help and volunteer in those areas to see if you can't help the elderly. Right. Because- Contact churches. Um, mm-hmm. Churches are collecting stuff that they can take out to the elderly. So if you're just wanting to donate, mm-hmm. contact a contact the church i'm sure they'd be more than happy to take that in so that they could distribute it or if you're wanting to help distribute you know i I don't know how that all works but there are people out there doing that Mm -hmm. um i've seen it all over facebook Mm -hmm. we're on a um i'm on a page for republic and um there's a lady on there more than one actually that has said if you are a parent that has no baby wipes contact me i have extra i will get them to you and no i'm not going to charge you extra yeah i wouldn't oh that's and um someone was mm. said and i'll do it for free i just want to help you know people have been really nice um same with diapers and formula and i mean all kinds of things like that now if you're someone like sandy here who has a uh uh Oh, if I'm at risk. Yeah, if you're at yeah. risk. If you're someone like Sandy, because she has uh, asthma. asthma, you probably shouldn't be helping with that. Because yeah. it's bad enough already for people who don't have underlining. And it's uh, really sad for me because that is so my thing. I love doing oh. stuff like that. And just like, do we have somebody else talking? Yeah, well, Daniel Wallace says Meals on Wheels delivers meals to the elderly for $23 a week. And I saw you can call them for special circumstances like immune com- uh, compromised people or disabled. 
That's very cool. Oh, Austin Vobble's uh, watching too. Hi, Hi Austin. Austin. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the, the schools around have been really doing great things too. Um, I know ours is getting ready to do it too, mm-hmm. where they're delivering to some of these children. There's a lot of children out there, guys, that don't eat when they're not at school. Yeah. And um, we're, tr- we're trying to get food together, sack lunches. Um, I think they're doing breakfast too. I'm oh. not sure how that all works. Austin, love you guys. Love you to miss. Uh, I love you to miss you guys. Oh, I love, love you too. I love miss you, too. you guys. <laughs> love you. Sorry, Austin. I should be reading this, Austin. You should probably, but you can't. I get you, kid. I get you. You don't know how to run this electronic equipment. Not that I do, but you don't know how. <laughs> well, it's so complicated. Anyway, they're getting ready to send out buses delivering um, lunches, and um, other districts, other states have been doing that, and I think mm-hmm. it's a great idea. We actually got the idea from um, our friend Amanda Troop. And I passed it on to our district. And I don't know if somebody else had the idea, too, but I know I passed it on, and now we're doing it. So I will claim it. <laughs> That's all that That's matters. That's all it takes, baby. It was my It's all it takes, idea. baby. <laughs> wow. You're a mess, and I love you. Thank you. I love uh, you right back. <laughs> love me right back. Um. So, uh, wow, I think that we've uh, – I, I know there's more – um, I can't think of anything else right off the top of my head because uh, we've, you know, run through our list. and I will say one up. because if you look around our room here, it's really ridiculously cluttered. Mm-hmm. Declutter. Just start going through a room at a time and declutter. <laughs> you know what? And uh, early spring cleaning, I guess, is what you're trying yep, to say. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, our, we are currently um, and have been for a while now uh, recording from our storage room. Yep. It's not supposed to be. And we even have a, a package of, um, what do you call it, the, the, da- the right. sound dampening oh, um, stuff over in the corner that we're going to use yeah. if we ever clean the room out. <laughs> Oh my god. You're knocking things over. Yeah. yeah, this this here, let me show everyone. This right here. Eventually this is a gift this was a gift from um Sean. Sean as his way of supporting the podcast. And you know what? If you're thinking about how can I support the podcast, <laughs> listen, share, share mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. subscribe, <laughs> all those fun things. Yes. Um, but Sean donates and that's good. That's good. <laughs> we like free. And and we, and he allows us to make fun of him on the podcast. We do. We, I think we mentioned him on almost every podcast. Yeah, yeah. So if you're wondering who Sean is, if you go back and you listen to, uh, one of our early episodes where we talk about insurance, traveling, travel insurance, yep. he helped us with that because he is an insurance agent. He also happens to be Steve's best friend and our son, Kyle's father-in-law. So, you know, and all around super cool dude he really is i don't you know i could say that because it's not in front of him he'll never listen to this so it's fine that helps <laughs> he can't hold it against you now yeah that's right okay so um you know what i think that we can call this an end of an episode we hope this was helpful to you uh, i hope you got uh, some sort of help in trying to figure out what you know what to do now and especially if they're the rumor and i don't know if they're talking about a nationwide isolation. I don't know either. You know, there's so many rumors going around. Guys, take it day by day. Just mm-hmm. be prepared. Just be considerate. And it'll all work out. Take a breath. And put other people before yourself. That's yep. Uh, yep. Because I'm telling you right now, it's a dog-eat-dog world and people are going nuts. we got to stick together. That's yeah. how we'll make it. Yeah, exactly. We've got to look out for each other. You know what? Um, Is this it, another great episode? This was another great episode. <laughs> Uh, thank you for listening to episode 119. Here, hold on, hold on. Oh, he's going to... Now, s- oh, do You're it. blinding me again. <laughs> I'm going to slap you from across the you room, You got the buddy. spotlight, baby. Thank you for listening to episode 119, Beating Isolation Boredom. Two Tenderfoot Tourists is a family-friendly podcast. If you like what you hear, be sure to subscribe to Apple Podcast, Tune... Mm, Podbean, iHeartRadio, Stitcher, TuneIn, and Spotify, just to name a few. To get in touch with us and chat about this podcast or even your travel experiences, simply email us at tenderfoottourist at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook and Instagram. And don't forget to check out our website at twotenderfoottourist.com. That's T-W-O, tenderfoottourist.com. I'm Steve. And I'm Sandy. Until next time, stay tender. Stay tender.